Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome to a little bit of an interview that I did with my dad. An interview, a story, he recently survived all three of the hurricanes that went and hit the Caribbean islands. I did another video with him back in December. If you want to check that out or in January or something, have a link to it somewhere in the video. Go check that out if you want, but just a little bit of a chat with my dad. Hope you enjoy. Panda out. Hello, Pandad, as everyone calls you. Panda dad. <laughs> yeah. Is it Pandad or Panda dad? Pandad. Pandad? Yeah. I thought it was Panda dad. Okay. That could be either Pandad, or. Panda dad, I don't care. That could be either. Yeah. So you've just recently survived <laughs> three hurricanes. Three hurricanes. Over on two weeks. Over two weeks. Over two weeks. Um, what was it? What was it like? Because obviously I was watching it all from here and it looked terrifying. We all okay. saw it on the well, news. The first one, uh, Irma. She came by overnight. Nasty. I fell asleep. Oh yeah. Um, woke up in the morning. The garden's trashed. Half the trees are down. Um, but you know, we're okay and everyone was all right. And you guys, what? We're all just in a room. We were hunkered downstairs in the downstairs kids' flat. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the kids hated us being down there. I can imagine. It's quite, quite interesting. <laughs> How did the kids deal with it? Um, I think they went to sleep as well. So they weren't freaking out because I would imagine they'd be absolutely losing their minds well, I, and I'd worried. Tried to, I tried to calm them down and you know NLP and yeah. all that sort of stuff. And yeah, they're fairly calm. And that's not much you can do about it. We put all the hurricane shutters up and all that sort of stuff. Cool. And then yeah, we came out in the morning and it had kind of calmed down a bit and went about. <gasps> Oh my God, the garden, you know, got mm. new views down to the sea. It's, you know, it swings and roundabouts, I guess. So Emma was coming like it was going to hit Irma straight on your island. Emma was 60 islands. miles north of us. At the last moment, so it, it took a bit of a north, right? Barbuda, wrecked that, and went on past to uh, St. Martin, St. Bart's, and Virgin Islands and wrecked. Have you seen the footage from the middle of the storm in St. Martin's? Just look it's like... It's just hideous. Uh, it was just hell. Hell. It still is hell. So that was that. So Jose actually passed, it was a cat four when it passed, but we didn't get much, it was just the wind, a mm -hmm. bit of rain, nothing. Maria came, 25 hours of misery, of intense rain, intense wind. Um, 25 hours. 25 hours. When you think your roof's going to get blown off any second, it's, it's a bit stressful. And it is trapped, and essentially. No, yeah, no power, of... no water. Yeah. No mm. TV, nothing to distract you. You've got your iPad, you've got your phone that's on uh, mobile data, you know, data and, and yeah. you know, getting updates and stuff like that. And, but there's not much you can do about it. You just have to just sit there and go through it. I was absolutely shocked with Irma. Like, you know, you'd said your goodbyes and stuff and the power's going to get turned off. Yeah. And then you called me. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> How is... You're not supposed to be on the phone. <laughs> Yeah, I, did, I didn't quite understand how there was still cell service there, where there was this gigantic vortex of... I, I don't know how they managed to keep it going. Yeah. It did go for a while, but um, they always have generators and stuff like that, and uh, obviously their the, the transmitters didn't get knocked down. That was great, honestly, because I was thinking, you know, you'd said, well, we're not going to hear from me until we've got power back, and I thought, oh... I, I know, know. And if... it didn't get power back after Ermi for five days. Yeah. So, you know, I, I was desperate to... to let everybody know we're okay. You know? Mm. I mean, that was one of the things about it. That the awful thing is for the people who, you know, are worried about you that can't do anything about who aren't there, you know, don't know what's going on. So, yeah, that was basically the, the story of the three hurricanes. And I was meaning to get a t shirt done with Survivor 2017 on it with, you know, Irma, Tick, Jose, Tick, and Maria. I'm sure you could still get some of them printed up and... I could, I could. You could, you could I'm, I'm make ten of them and give them to all your different friends on the I'm island. still thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So in general, the rest of the island as well was pretty much okay, because when I was uh, there... Lots of trees down, lots of telegraph poles down, um, lots of power lines down. Um, but Bastia, the big city there, but a lot, city. when we were there, we were walking around it, a lot of it was just, you know, sort of corrugate, it was very basic buildings and a lot of them. Yeah, and I was... We drove around the day before Irma saying this won't exist, this won't be here, this won't be there. It's all still there. Huh. I don't understand how they survived. I guess because the air can get in and the air can get out again. So it yeah, passes, you guys got inc passes through, incredibly, incredibly lucky with all of that. Incredibly lucky. I mean, I just, you know, when you look at all the destruction in, well, as I said, Barbuda, um, 
St. Martin, St. Bart's, uh, and the Virgin Islands mm. from Irma, and then obviously Dominica, which is completely trashed. They don't expect power for another six months. Whoa. I mean, that's, you know, it's inconceivable not to have power for six months. Yes, uh, life completely just. It's the end of your life. I mean, what can you do? Stand you still. You can't work, you can't, nobody can work, nobody can make a money, you know. You know. Mm. Businesses can't open. It's, it's ridiculous. So, uh, and then, yeah, went through to uh, Puerto Rico Absolutely and the Virgin Islands again. Yeah. Mm. So, terrible. Damn. Very lucky. Yes, very lucky indeed. I was, uh, we were all, I was all absolutely crapping my pants. My mum was constantly, you must have had a thousand texts from I her. I had a million texts from her, no, not a thousand, a million texts. Yeah. Um, and she pissed Simone off in the end a bit. What, you were getting so many texts from her? I can imagine, yeah. Didn't stop. We were both getting pissed off. I actually, I kind of lost my cool a little bit. I was like, actually told her to say, mum, please, just, just stop. Okay, look, I can't handle a hundred texts an hour. But I'm glad that it all, it all was all right. And honestly, you know, from the sounds of it, you walked out with your house is pretty much unscathed. The house is actually totally unscathed at the end of the day. You know, you can mop up water, it, you can just mop it up, it's, mm. uh, it goes away. That's um, great. And the garden, you know, well, the big trees will never come back again. But um, So what happened to them? They just got knocked down or ripped up and pulled away? Up. The branches ripped off. Mm. Some of the trees just rooted up smashed down unbelievable i mean the power of it is just incredible mm. but you know the car was still there and luckily we managed to put everything away carefully so nothing got blown around and because that's what can happen you know you leave stuff out yeah wind picks it up and smashes the window yes you said it. that you'd what during irma you said that you'd gone outside and had a little wander around or something i believe that's what you said to me i was thinking sure the wind might be doing that but you know bits of crap being picked up by the wind, thrown around is the is the danger. Well, you have to you know, be careful. Yeah. But you know, I was had very curious as to see what was going on. Mm, well, I can imagine. Because you know we didn't see, hadn't seen upstairs. Right. So I wanted to go upstairs and make sure. You know, it was still there. And the big fuck off TV was still on the wall. Yeah. Still working. My computer was still there. And. Mm. Um, was the, was the roof on? Um, you know, <laughs> Do you have a roof? Just little <laughs> things you need small to things for. like that. Just yeah. little details, you know. Um, oh god. Yeah. So I had to go out, you know, earlier than anybody else just to have a look and make sure and let myself in and there was a couple of pools of water on the floor, but you know, water water evaporates there so quickly, it's just ridiculous. No, you got off pretty pretty well, pretty well. It's you're impressive. Lucky as shit we were. And you're not expecting because the hurricane season goes on till November twentieth, you're not expecting any more. Well the ones from Africa, which are the ones that tend to pick up speed before they get to, to the uh, Lesser Antilles, which are the ones at the top there. Yeah. Um, no, they can, They tend to be... The Nate has just been through um, South America, uh, Central America, yeah. in Nicaragua, 25 people died. I mean, it was that only was just a, last um, week. That was a Category 1 yeah. tropical storm though. Yeah. No, a hurricane. Category hurricane, all right. Yeah. Um, they're all dangerous. It doesn't matter what number they have on them. Mm. They're just dangerous, man. They can all kill you. So you are or you're not expecting anything no, else? No, it could happen, but um, it's unlikely after now. Good, so good. And this is the first season that has actually been crazy for, what was it, five years ago or something that you had? Mm, that was uh, 2009, I think it was, Omar. Right. But that was just, uh, that was swell. That was just swell. I took on the Four Seasons Hotel. Um, oh yeah, it just screwed the hotel over, didn't it? Screwed the hotel and only that. Completely. Yeah, but that's all that happened. Mm. So the kids were fine; didn't even notice it. Uh, and then prior to that, it was Ivan in um, Turks and Caicos, my first one. We uh, decided to buy this house, and I said, "Look, if the house is still standing after the hurricane, we'll buy it." And that's what we did. That's fair. Yeah, if I was ever going to go and live out there, I'd make sure that serious, like live on a hill, so you're elevated, not next to the yeah, sea. exactly. And make sure it's just made out of concrete and... It's got a nice tin roof and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Some so sort of... shingles get blown off, like, you know. Yes, no, I was imagining if you had um, all over the place. tiles, they would have just 
Yeah. Been absolutely gone. Yeah. So yeah, basically just a few things that you wouldn't think about living in this country, but you know. Yes, that's not something that has ever crossed my mind of like insane 160 mile an hour winds. That's right. Mm. But you know, you get flash floods here and all yep. sorts of crazy stuff, you know, so. Cool. Well, thank you very much for that, Father. Uh, thank you, son. And Dad. Yeah. Thank you. That was nice. A lot of people, you know, I was talking about it at the time on Twitter because I was really freaked out and didn't really know what to do and everyone was very supportive and people kept on asking, Panda, how's your dad? So here is the, uh, here's the, here's the little talk about it. Yeah. But it's a very interesting situation and something that we're probably not going to see here or probably, I'm not, probably not going to see in my lifetime. I hope you never experience it yourself. Mm. You really do. It's a nightmare. I mean, Maria was really nasty. 25 yes. hours is a long time to be... It's a huge amount of time. I think you know, the roof's going to get blown off. Mm. Mm. Anyway. Cool. Well, well, thank you very much. You're very welcome, my boy. And uh, wait, you, Pandad out is what you say. Pandad out. <laughs> <laughs>